Hi everybody, welcome to a special video of Game of Thrones Academy. Hi Itamar. Hello. This video we're gonna go unscripted. Uh, we've reached 1,000 subscribers. Thanks guys for all the love and affection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. We rule. Mm-hmm. Well, not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, we are agree. Not... This has not worked as I as it was in my mind. Not scripted. Unscripted. So we're gonna go we're gonna do a QA today. Okay, Itamar, you have not seen these questions. The questions uh, questions from uh, our viewers in the comments. Okay, so I haven't met you before, as yeah. well. <laughs> first <laughs> time we meet. Okay, so I'm gonna so you just say what you think, what's on your mind. Okay, so let's start with question number one. One I Jack nineteen seventy says I always got the impression that Essos was stuck in the Bronze Age, but that could have been their forms of government, independent city-states, and clothing styles uh, coloring my view. What do you mm. think? Yeah, it's not the Bronze Age in the particular story, but they do wear like they have the togas and stuff. So you can say maybe yeah. a certain inspiration uh, ah, okay. was the, the like the societies of the Bronze Age, but not not the like. Uh, the Athens, politics. yeah, Athens. I don't see Athens in uh, or ancient Rome specifically mm. in this the present of the story. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh, okay, so maybe as an inspiration, you know, to how to the clothing and uh, uh, food and stuff. Okay, okay, not, that's uh, good. okay. So let's go to question number two. Marsovac says, since you predicted the fall of the East, and he agrees, and the rise of the West, do you think that the rise will come? with weakening of feudalism and a rise of a merchant class, as it did in the real world? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I hope so, yeah. We talked about it in our uh, previous uh, chapters. Um, yeah, I think it correlates, uh, the rising of a merchant class and uh, okay. capitalism in a sense, you know, and basic freedoms as one of the apps like one historian uh, says, like defines as like six killer apps the Western society had okay. uh, in order ah, to yeah, topple, yeah. Uh, you know, to like from nowhere the West suddenly rose and uh, brought uh, down yeah, the knees. Book, right. And so we have like six killer apps and one of them is a more representative uh, government and a more mm -hmm. uh, and a less uh, superstitious and uh, frozen society, you know, and, okay. and trade and stuff like okay. that. Okay, so... Ren Renwood asks, do you have any thoughts on the Silent Sisters? I thought of them like the embalmers of Egypt. I'm not sure if they were from a religious sect. Silent Sisters? Maybe. I, I don't know much about uh, you know, the religious practices of ancient uh, Egypt. Okay. Uh, I know in uh, Rome you have these uh, Vestal virgins that uh, they played the part in the Roman uh, religion. Okay. Uh, keeping the flames uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe it's sort of inspiration. I don't know the connection. Exactly, okay. But yeah, could be. So this is another question. This question is for me. Are you a Jew? Uh, Are you a Jew? <laughs> you haven't told me. <laughs> I'm afraid to, to say that I am. Sorry, guys. Okay, so f a follow up on that one. Me too. You are a Jew? Yeah, yeah, I'm Jewish as well. <laughs> Jewish. Jewish. How ca it's such a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a follow up on that one. John Marlowe asks, or says, rather, you two have restored my admiration <laughs> for the sensible nature and intellectual pursuit of your people. Please, no offense intended. Mm. None taken. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. A little bit racist, if you ask me, but that's okay. Let's go on. No. To a more. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, okay. So I just now, don't know what he's talking about. Like, our intellectual pursuit. <laughs> our people's this is, intellectual pursuit. This is, very intelle this is very intellectual work, Itamar. Okay, so to a more cheerful comment from Squints. Greetings from Iran. Mm. Hey, greetings, man. Greetings. Yeah. Okay. Peace. Peace. Okay, another question. Jaken Hagar, mm. welcome Jaken, welcome back. Asks where are you from? Uh, asks where are you guys from? Israel? Yes, we are from Israel. You're from Israel? I'm from Israel. I'm also from Israel. Let's stay in the region. Einbaum asks, not ask. Ein, Einbaum. Einbaum. A tree, in German. 
Ah, yeah. okay. Ah, he also has a little tree on his icon. Okay, I thought it was Golani. Engbaum <laughs> says, It bothers me a bit that there is no sort of representation of Islam in A Song of Ice and Fire since the Muslims played a big part in the Middle Ages, but well, it's a fantasy universe, not a historic novel. Yeah, it is a fantasy universe, and the Muslims played a major part in the politics and uh, ge- geop- geopolitical era of the Middle Ages. But there is maybe something like uh, concerning Dawn or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the Roynar. The Roynar, maybe but they that's came. That's a stretch. Like, yeah, that's a stretch. Because they're not Muslim. But uh, you can yeah. say you, know, the, the, you can say the, the religion of uh, Rolo, you know. There is ah. something Muslim about it, like a new religion. Ah. Uh, very Democratic. Yeah, more monotheistic, anti-pagan, very anti-pagan. Very anti-pagan. And they no, cons- but, but the Muslims considered the Catholics back then as pagans because they, mm. they believed in the Trinity. In the Trinity, I think like the Jew, the Orthodox, the Jewish Orthodoxy also. Yeah, the sees Jewish uh, Orthodoxy sees cat- sees Catholicism as a pagan, like a politeistic... Yeah, like uh, a religious Jew cannot enter yeah. a, a church. Yeah. Okay, so maybe, and, and, and we do see... Uh, but uh, as w- you can say as well that this book is very Westerosi century, you know, like Eurocentric, because it's from the perspe- perceptive, yeah. perception of the uh, perspective of the, of the Europeans, of the Westerosi. Uh, like, mm-hmm. uh, there, weren't really, there wasn't really a Middle Ages in the Muslim world. The Muslim... Mm-hmm. Because what is Middle Ages like a between the classical period and the the European the, classical the period. European classical period and the European the uh, European Renaissance, Renaissance right, and the right, early right, modern right. periods? It wasn't like early modern period was in the Muslim world back then. It was the first world, the first world, like mm. uh, in the sense of culture and uh, science and mm. technology and medicine. And maybe the Slavers' and Bay. Culture maybe the well. Slavers' Bay is a little bit. Uh, that's uh, that's. Arabs, no? Mm. Not Muslims, but Arabs? Yeah, could be. No? no in, in the show, I don't know, this guy with a dragon who speaks Valyrian seems a little bit, no? I don't know, I don't, I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's go on but to the next question. Okay, let's go on. Yeah, shout out. Let's go on to another question from Durandal Arkas. Just want to throw this out there. The faith of the seven is not made up and powerless. Melisandra had to be smuggled pla- past the walls of Storm's End for a reason because Renly was protected by the seven and her magic would have been thwarted if she had to use her shadow babies anywhere else. I hadn't thought of that. Mm-hmm. That's smart. That's yeah. a good, a good observation. Yeah, a good observation. Because I was sure that it was totally made up with no, pow- yeah, with no powers. We don't see... We don't see uh, the... Re- we don't see the current, uh, you know, powers of the religions, of the the seventh uh, religion, right? Because uh, maybe the the ruins, like the magical ruins in the Storm's End, Storm's End, maybe it's part of the of you know the ancient religion of Westeros. I don't know. Mm. I don't see a priest like saying this is uh, protected by right. the seven, blah blah. Ah, blah okay, you know? okay, okay. So, uh, so final question by Linnea Krings. Any chance of doing some character breakdowns in the show and relating them to real people in history, i.e. would be Cersei's equivalent or Jon Snow's? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, already uh, or in production. Yeah, it depends when this episode is aired, but we already thought about uh, breakdowns mm-hmm. and of mm-hmm. Sansa. Sansa, and, uh, that's a great one. Davos and Davos, Tyrion, Tyrion right, right. Uh, Brienne maybe. Maybe Brienne. Yeah, and, we also uh, have Daenerys. Daenerys and Jon. And John and Mance. And Mance Raider as well, maybe okay. in production. Yeah. yeah, and if you have more ideas for, for videos, yeah, we'll be really happy to hear them. Uh, so that's it, unscripted. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Like, comment if you have something to say. <coughs> comment if you have something to say. And subscribe to get our next video. Bye-bye.